Columbus, Ohio, the capital of the strength world for the next three days as we kick off the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. Thank you so much for being with us, everybody. I'm Sean Woodland with Lawrence Chalet. Kiki Dixon is the third member of our broadcast team. We'll be hearing from her in just a second. But the men's competition this year, Laws, I couldn't be more excited for it because it is wide open. I am extremely excited for this. Like you said, well, firstly, we're guaranteed a new champion this year. We've got 10 athletes here, no former winners. So we're guaranteed a new champion. That's always exciting. But it could be one of the closest battles we've ever seen. Let's take a look at the 10 men who will be competing here over the next two days to be crowned the Arnold Strawman Classic champion. Mitchell Hooper is a man that Laws coaches. Mateusz Kieliszkowski, more on him in a second. First time we're going to see him compete in two years. The American Nightmare, Bobby Thompson, he is also in the fields. And then Pablo Nakanechi, a powerful newcomer, we'll be keeping an eye on him. If you want to feel like a celebrity is a strong man, you come compete at the Arnold Classic. This is the show everybody wants to get that invite to. There's a lot of hype behind it. The Austrian Oak, the Wheel of Pain, the Timber Frame Carriage, the Elephant Bar Deadlock, the Stone Throw. These are iconic events. It's going to be a tough one. There's going to be a lot of battling it out. It's 10 people. Top 10 guys here in the world, so it's going to be hard. Tom Luke Stallman, Trey Mitchell, of course. Kevin Ferris. Matthias. And I'm really happy to be here. Mitchell Hooper, the Canadian warrior. Pavlo, his deadlift is looking really strong. My best exercise is deadlift. You've obviously got Bobby Thompson. You've got four of your top dogs in this contest staring at you like, I really don't know how this is going to go. I think the biggest rival for me would be myself because I haven't competed almost two years. Based on the events and how training is going, I think I can podium. Every competition, my goal is first place. I'm ready to kind of battle and get on top of that podium. All of us want to win when everybody's at their best. Mateusz Kieliszkowski, one of the favorites here. And for more on him, let's go to Kiki Dixon. I spoke with Mateusz. He's been working closely with his doctor to get back into this fighting shape. And they say it's a victory for him to be able to compete again. I think we all are aware that there is a fierce competitor that lies within Mateusz, and he's had to lie dormant for the last couple of years. And while that competitor is about ready to be unleashed. Thank you, Kiki. The Wheel of Pain is event number one. You gotta push that thing as far as you can in 60 seconds. It weighs about 20,000 pounds here. Laws, the keys to success. What do you gotta do in order to get the best score possible here? We are talking endurance and leg strength. They need to be capable of working hard for the full 60 seconds. Well, Tom Evans will be the first man out. He played college football at the University of Richmond. We'll see how he does with the Wheel of Pain. Really establishing himself very, very well on the strongman circuit. This is a big step up now, though. So let's see what Tom Evans can do with the Wheel of Pain. And already he's pushing hard on that implement. This is a good pace already. Now, the key here, as I mentioned earlier, is that he can maintain this for the 60 seconds. You don't want to go too hard at the start and burn all your energy halfway through. 60 seconds is a long time especially when you're doing an event called the Wheel of Pain. Very excruciating event. Halfway through and Evans is knocked out about 50 feet here and counting, continuing to move. He's going very well here, starting to slow a little bit, but he's digging deep now. Just coming up to 15 seconds left. Every step that he gets, he knows is important. So hard being the first athlete out on an event like this. The final seconds for Tom Evans. And he's able to gut another couple feet out of that thing. So, Thomas Evans, our first athlete out. He's put in a very solid distance there. 84 feet unofficially to start things off for the men. There is Mateusz Kieliszkowski, who is making his first appearance at the competition in two years, coming back from that injury. Physically, Physically, he's looking great. Mentally is the question now. This is the question, is what state is that mental capacity in? He is without question one of the greatest strength athletes we've ever seen. The last few years, he has been plagued with injuries. The Polish Terminator. And he's away. You'd expect a good solid start from him. Judge is trying to move his hand inside. The right hand is almost outside the rope. It has to be on that rope portion. That's correct. Every athlete needs to maintain their hands on the rope. They're not allowed to touch the head of the arm. 
And Mateusz Kierlaskowski is handling this extremely well. 30 seconds remaining. And listen to this crowd respond to this effort from Kieliuszkowski. He's it's, already passed Evans. He's starting to feel that lactic acid, but he's still pumping those legs. One step at a time. How much does he want it? And now he is moving himself into the lead. He's coming to a grind. He's still moving, but it's slowing and slowing. Come on, Kieliuszkowski. Five seconds left. He's come to a grinding halt, goes for the change of technique to get a bit closer, and he manages to move it. And that will be time. Shaking his head there, he doesn't think it's enough. We do know he is in the lead, but that adjustment late really helped him get some extra feed there. Very solid performance. Is it enough to take the win, though? That's the big question. We have some very, very strong men still to come. Let's go back down to the floor. Kiki Dixon is with Jerry Pritchett. Jerry, we just saw Mateusz push the wheel of pain. What did you see performance-wise with his technique? Those short, choppy steps is really seems to be the key to this. Those long strides just take too much out of you. So, you know, by the first quarter of the push, they're, they're wore out. And just be patient, and it'll gain speed as you go. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks. When we return, the wheel of pain continues at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. The 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic on CBS Sports is sponsored by Rogue. Don't weaken. Welcome back to Columbus, Ohio, home of the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. Event one, the Wheel of Pain is living up to its name. Newcomer Pablo Nakanechny was able to push the Wheel of Pain 91 feet, 11 inches. Kevin Ferris pushed it 76 feet and 11 inches. Rob Kearney maxed out at 69 feet, 11 inches. Luke Stoltman at 82 feet, three inches. And Bobby Thompson struggled with 59 feet, five inches. Mitchell Hooper out of Canada will be the next man up. Yeah, Mitch Hooper, our next athlete. He has no experience of this event before. And he is having a great rookie season. Probably the best rookie season we, we've ever seen from any athlete. He's been on the podium in almost every single contest that he's done. First time competing at the Arnold Strongman Classic. He's off to a good start. Like we say with every single athlete, it doesn't matter about the start, it matters that you can continually push and drive and keep going for the full 60 seconds. Well, Hooper is moving extremely well here. 20 seconds now down. He's extremely well conditioned, particularly for such a large man. His endurance is, is very good. His fitness levels, very, very good. He lacks experience compared to some of the other athletes, but he's learning all the time. Past the halfway point. Oh, he's starting break. to struggle. That was a big mistake there to actually allow this implement to stop. He can see Thomas Evans' first target to beat, and he's having to change his positioning. And this is harder than he would like. He's still digging deep. He has moved into third place past Evans. Final seconds here for Hooper. Here we go. And it looks like it's going to be good enough for second right now unofficially, but we do need to check we that. We'll have to check those distances. But yeah, a bit of a mistake there, I think, from Mitch Hooper. Again, if he was going nicely, then he started to look up and try and... I think he was looking for the targets, thinking they're not coming as quick as I'd like them to. Tom Stoltman. Is going to be up next. So this is someone I've been looking forward to seeing back competing. The two-time world's strongest man winner. He's had a little bit of a break, but Tom Stoltman is a phenom. He's just incredibly genetically gifted when it comes to the strongman world. And he's won this type of event before. Let's see if Tom Stoltman can track down Mateusz Kieliszkowski's mark of 100 feet, 9 inches. Let's see, the only question mark people have kind of said, looking at his training, he's looking almost too big. When I saw him this, this morning at breakfast, he was looking fitter than I saw him a few weeks ago back in his training. So he's obviously been working hard. More than halfway through his 60-second time here. And he's coming up to our first targets. Kevin Ferris is the man so whose name legs is there first. He's starting to now burn now. He starts... He starts, goes Evans past Kevin, well. he needs to dig deep, he's got eight seconds, needs to push. 
going past people, but it's getting harder and harder. I don't think he's going to get ahead of the likes of Kiliuszkowski. Can he get ahead of Mitch Hooper? So close there, not quite enough. It looks like he may have gotten close to passing Nakanechi. We'll have to check on that, but he was right there with Tom Stolman. Stolman passes Ferris there, then he gets past Evans, but this is where he really started to slow. Yeah, th th those last 10 seconds are excruciatingly hard. Trey Mitchell will be the 10th and final man out on the competition floor. And he was really impressive the last time we saw him compete back in October at the Rogue Invitation. Trey is always such a, a pleasure to watch. He's, he's had a, he had a great year last year, finishing second at the Rogue Invitational. He won the Shaw Classic earlier in the year. He's always a threat in any major competition. Trey off to a solid start here. He's got the, the wide barefoot style shoes on. Good for people with, with bigger, wider feet. They don't constrict your feet at all, so you can really kind of spread the, the toes out. Get maximum power through each digit in the foot. Look at this. He's pushing Bobby hard. Bobby Thompson halfway he through. Now just hit the 30-second mark. If Trey can keep this up, he has a chance of going into first place. He's got lots of names to go past now, and he's going... Oh, what's happened there? Trey Mitchell mark. suddenly comes to a stop. And he is back at it. And that's... Was that cramp or... A possible injury. He's moving well again, so I'm just thinking it's just fatigue. But the final five seconds, and Mitchell is already in fifth place. You know, he was going so well then, I was expecting to challenge for those top three positions. We'll see where he winds up. It was a strange stop halfway through, as if the legs maybe just blew up completely, but then he was like, I need to dig deep. I'm at the Arnold Strongman Classic, and I'm here to win. It's a triumphant return. For Mateusz Kieliszkowski, he's going to pick up the event win. Let's go to Kiki Dixon, who's with your event winner. Mateusz, you had to sit on the sidelines for a couple of years due to injury. You're starting the Arnold Strongman Classic with an event win. What does that do for your confidence? I'm not happy from this because last time I did better. So it's time to return to gym and improve. <laughs> Mateusz Kieliszkowski takes event one as the only athlete to hit the 100-foot mark. Trey Mitchell comes close at 97 feet, and rookie sensation Mitchell Hooper with 94 feet. Mateusz Kieliszkowski is your overall leader with 10 points. Trey Mitchell comes in second place with nine, and Mitchell Hooper sits in third. I've been the lightest guy pound for pound for, gosh, the last five years. I'm doing this for all the little guys that don't think that they can get to the top. Yeah, I'm very fortunate to be able to, to hang with the big guys at the weight I am. The first thing I trained when I became a strong man, that was a log press, oddly enough. <laughs> that one might have been, uh, yeah, we might have been fixed from the start of that race. Went really well, I hit a 305 on my first day ever touching a log. I knew I had something then. The men facing the Austrian Oak, 430 pounds, 90 seconds to lift that thing as many times as you can. Each athlete will get one attempt, and then if they cannot get a successful lift at 430, they will move on to the lighter, and I'm going to put that in quotes, log at 385 pounds. Laws, what are you looking for here? I'm expecting two reps to score huge points today. If anyone can hit three or more, this place is going to go ballistic. Well, a man who is very good at log lifting, Bobby Thompson, will be up first. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot, Jerry. How many reps is going to win today on this? I think four. Four. Wow, that would be so good to see. With as good as a log presser, a couple of them we have here with Bobby and Luke. And that's a great lift there by Bobby Thompson. I mean, Bobby and Luke and Trey, they're, they're, they're so great at the log. I, and I see those guys pushing each other. And too. they're all strong in the upper body as well. Yeah. We talk, talk about how strong, you know, some people are with their legs. 
Oh, I don't know Bobby's if he was, not I, given that rep yeah, there. No. Did not have it locked out long enough. And, and now it, you talk about just the wasted effort on a bad and rep. It, it's and a huge wasted up. effort because it's not like in some comps where you're looking at a 300 pound long. Yeah. This is 430 pounds. You know, we talk about two reps being good points. He's had to do three just to get two reps. That's the thing as a competitor, you cannot afford to make mistakes. He still has 30 seconds to go here, but... but this is where the fatigue has come in from the wheel. You know, the legs are cashed, the shoulders are hurting. Two reps, can he get a third? Three will be good points. And he gets Thompson's it. Thompson's gonna get it. And you know what? It could have been four. It could have been four right been there. Four, unfortunately, four. he didn't get given the second rep. Three good lifts for Bobby Thompson, and he was just a fraction of a second away from having four. And that is equaling the most we've seen with this particular weight. When we come back, the iconic Austrian Oak continues at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. Welcome back to the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic, and the athletes are in a battle with the Austrian Oak. Kevin Ferris was unable to lift the Austrian Oak, and a surprise to everybody, event favorite Luke Stoltman failed to press the oak at all. Tom Stoltman and Pablo Nakanechny each got one lift. Rob Kearney was able to get two lifts. And rookie Tom Evans was successful with one. In 2022, I won the Amateur Arnold World Championship, and that solidified my spot for this year. Regardless of placing, do everything I could possibly do, hit PRs in every single event. Just prove I belong to be here, and hopefully get invited back. I'm ready to all exercise, yeah? I'm training with my friend from Department of State Military from Ukraine on his base. And uh, Arnold Classic is show me <laughs> what, what I can. <laughs> Mitch Hooper, the next man out. He's going to want to get at least two reps here, though, to challenge for this title. If he can get two, tie himself with Rob Kearney, it's going to put him in a very solid position because he'll stretch away from the athletes and only manage one repetition. First attempt for Mitch Hooper at 430 pounds. He's been working hard on his pressing. And that will go. That's a good first rep. Good strong rep. I like this, I like that he's taking his time. 90 seconds as we say, you know. Use it, use it to his advantage. Good clean. Ooh. Not able to get the second rep, but re-racks it. Let's see if he can fight through it, and he will That's get impressive. it. Wow. Great to be able recovery to, from Mitch Hooper. Yeah, to be able to bring that back down to the chest, stabilize himself and then go again that takes a lot of effort and a lot of energy he's watching that clock he knows where he needs to be and at 15 seconds he gets his hands on it this for the tie that's too much he's close can he get it can he get it he gets it. Wow. it he gets it at the last second mitch hooper with his third rep will tie bobby thompson for first place. Wow. Mitch Hooper managing to get three repetitions just inside the time limit. One more look at uh, Mitch Hooper who failed to press on his first attempt and then was able to get it. The second one was good and then the third, he just sneaks it in inside that 90 second cap. Three reps, still the best score that we have seen. Jerry, you said it would take four to win. This might be the man to do it. This could well be the man to do it. He's not got as big a log as some of the athletes for, for one rep. But what Trey is very good at is getting everything right in competition. First rep up for Trey. A strong press. Oh, that looked good. Wow, wow, good press. Started a little late. We'll see if those 10 seconds... Have... Don't come back to bite him in the end. Yeah. Second attempt now for Trey. And that will count. Look, he's looking strong. Two great presses so far. He's looking very strong. How many more does he have left in him? You see how this third one moves. 
Yes, and that's that was good. high for we first. We got some big power from the legs on that rep. And he still has 30 seconds to go here. I think we could see our first athlete hit four. He's got the time. Take a little time, take a little time. Calm down. He needs to hit it like that last one. Plenty of leg power. No need to rush now. He knows he just needs one more rep. Get that clean, don't waste anything. This for the win. Big drive. For Trey Mitchell. And he is in the lead. First place with four reps with one man remaining. He knows that's huge for him. Trey Mitchell was so consistent throughout this entire event and timed it perfectly. He just raised his level on the day that counts. One man remains, it's Mateusz Kieliszkowski, and he will have to get five reps if he wants to win this event outright. Great start on event number one. So what can Mateusz Kieliszkowski do on the log? No room for error here for Kieliszkowski. He's kind of doing the same thing though. He's not attacking it right away, he's taking his time. Nearly 15 seconds elapsed before he starts his first attempt. He's being very methodical. One is good. Okay. He's got an important one rep. Two will be good for him. If he can get two, possibly a third one. I think maybe two is probably looking like to be the mark. Yeah. Trey Mitchell now looks like he could be your overall leader after day one. As Mateusz is not able to get that second rep. That tricep's just not quite like it used to be. And you see him moving there. He's had a torn lat in the past as well. I think he's only about eight months out from a surgery on the lat. Well, all that comes into play with when you're pulling right laws, you're pulling that 430 in the lap. Yes. Yeah, it's not there. And I'll tell you what, you can see the physical kind of and mental disappointment on his face there. He's not happy with that. He's got the one rep, but he's tying, splitting points with three other guys, which is going to hurt his overall a little bit. The Mateusz Kieliszkowski with one good rep. Let's bring in Kiki Dixon. Trey, how excited are you to end day number one with four reps for this event? It, I don't think it's happened since uh, Big Z, the lift of four reps on the Austrian Oak. Fills me with pride to be able to, uh, all the hard work to pay off. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for having me. We got some big power from the legs on that rep. He's close, can he get it? Can he get it? He does! And Mitch got it! He gets it! It is Trey Mitchell with four good reps to take the win. And it's Big Tex on top of the overall leaderboard after two events with 19 total points. Mitch Hooper sits two up on Mateusz Kieliszkowski, Pablo Nakanechny is in fourth, and Tom Solman in fifth. When we come back, it's a crowd favorite, the Elephant Bar Deadlift at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. Can you pick that up? It's one of the first questions ever asked in the world of strength, and nothing answers it like our next test, the deadlift. The Elephant Bar is different than the standard barbell that many people use in the gym. It is nine and a half feet long. The main thing, as you'll see as we progress through this event, is the, a whip on it as it bounces up and down as you progress through the lift. When we get into 800s, the low 9s, and once we get up in the upper 9s, over 1,000, that bar comes alive. It not only shakes up and down, but it also shakes side to side. In the elephant bar deadlift, each athlete will have three attempts to establish a one rep max, and the weight on the bar can only go up. Keys to this event, Laz, what are you looking for? We've said before, this is just the purest test of strength. Lift the heaviest weight from A to B. And Mateusz Kieliszkowski is going to be the first man out. His starting weight, 776 pounds. And this is a known weakness for him. Yeah, it, it's, it's always been a question because he's such a great stone lifter. He's great at frame, a heavy frame, but he's got good grip. I think it's just an event he doesn't like. He doesn't like to train it. You gotta trust your body so you can just go. 776 pounds, 352 kilos for the Polish Terminator, and that looks very good. Great start for him. My first thought watching that was pretty comfortable. That was good. You know, yeah. he's clearly capable of more than maybe he thinks right now. Oh, he set into it. Got nice, no hiccups. Nice straight pull. 
the Stoltman brothers will be the next two out. Tom Stoltman is going to go first at 801, and then Luke is going to come out and attempt 851 pounds. So last time we saw Tom on the elephant bar, he was second at the Rogue Invitational 2021. And you watched when, when that bar first popped off the floor, it popped out away from him. So he had to kind of sit back and let it fall back towards his shins before he could start pulling. Being Welsh, strong as man was the thing that everyone thought I wouldn't be able to do. You know, obviously being diagnosed with autism at five, six years old, and, and I didn't know what I was going to do in life. And when I said to people, I'm going to be the next Welsh strong man, laughed. They said, do what you want, but you're never going to do it. So yeah, I think proving people wrong and being Welsh strong as man is my biggest achievement in my life. People used to say, they used to laugh at Tom and I. I used to say it all the time that we're going to become the strongest brothers to ever live, and, and we are. Yeah, over, well over a decade of training, it's a historic title that I'll, I'll never leave us, and uh, something I'm very proud of. Now 851 pounds, 386 kilos for Luke Stoltman. He needs this. Redeem himself from yesterday. You know, help his mindset, his confidence. You have to block it out. These things happen, and now oh. good pull. Popped off the ground. Good lockout. Good lift there by Luke Stoltman. Good. 851 pounds for Luke Stolman, 386 kilos on his second attempt. He likes it, and so does the crowd. Just never know what's going to happen. In what world does Luke Stolman place higher on a deadlift than he does on a log lift? I know. <laughs> now, Kevin Ferris is set for his final attempt at 9.01. This will be a huge lift for Kevin. I think this must be PB territory for Kevin, sure. It's got to be close, and, and at one of our, I think our lightest competitor, I think him and Rob are pretty close. Yeah. Come on, Kevin. Kevin, come on. Keep pulling, keep, keep pulling. pulling. Come on, Kevin. Come on. Wow, look at this out. Get those hips through. There you go. Great fight for Kevin Ferris, and that will count. What a fight. 901 pounds. Massive lift for him. And he is fired up. Maintained form off the floor. He started to lose it once he was over the knees, but once it's over the knees, you have that ability to hitch, push the knees through. Kept inching it up, inching it up, never quit. Gave absolutely everything to finish that one off. The weight is only getting heavier as the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic continues. Welcome back to the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic in Columbus, Ohio, and the Elephant Bar deadlift continues. Mateusz Kierlaskowski finishes the event with 811 pounds. Rookie Tom Evans impressed the crowd with 856 pounds. Tom and Luke Stoltman failed to lift on their final attempts. And event favorite Pablo Nakanechny straining his leg fails to get a successful lift. Mitchell Hooper is first to break 900 pounds with a successful pull of 9.06. Bobby Thompson will be the final man to make his first attempt, and he is going to open at 9.36. Must be feeling confident with how the way the warm-ups have gone to be opening this heavy. Opening lift, 936 pounds, and that is strong. Oh, solid, solid. He's happy with that. Take a bow. Bobby Thompson, because you're the new leader at 9.36, and that was his opening attempt. Yeah, when 9.36 moves like that as an opener, you're feeling confident. Look how powerful that was. So strong off the floor, maintained that positioning, locked out really strong. This is the second attempt for Trey Mitchell now, as he goes up to 941 pounds. Wide stance, uses that leg power. Driving hard, he's pulling through smoothly. Can he lock it out? It's got to work hard. He's Finish it. got to pull those hips through. There you go. Trey Mitchell gets there. Big fight for Big Tex, and that is a big weight. 941 goes up for Trey Mitchell. That is a champion performance right there. He knew how important that was. He had to give everything. I don't see him coming back lifting more. And what a great fight. Just gotten through this thing. You know, training for my first competition, I didn't really know what I was doing. Didn't have any straw man equipment at the time. No coats, no, no training partners, just basically learning by trial and error. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's turned out well. I made my way 
to the Arnold Strongman Classic my first time in 2020. It showed people that, you know, like, I'm good, but you know, I can also hang with the best guys in this sport and really push them to see what they're made of and uh, to see who can come out on top. And it's gonna be Rob Kearney who will be up next for his final attempt at 961 pounds. Crowd are responding. They wanna see this lift go up. Final attempt for Rob Kearney. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Well, get it there. Just an inch too low at the moment. There we go, that's better. <laughs> and he will get there, Rob Kearney at 961. Rob Kearney with the good lift. He wasn't quite where he needed to be, pushed those knees forward even more. He and Bobby Thompson very much alive right now for a spot on the podium. The two men remain, it's Mitch Hooper and Bobby Thompson. And Hooper's going to go after 981 pounds. Here's where the crowd can help you. Yes. He's responding to the crowd. He wants them making the noise. Feed off that energy. We will see if it will pay off for Mitch Hooper at 981 pounds, 445 kilos to put himself in the lead. Go on, Mitch. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And, and he, he gets has a it. lift. 981 for Mitch Hooper. And he maintained his form there. Yeah. I think a lot of people were expecting him to have to hitch. He kept pulling through smoothly. In terms of the whole competition, that is a massive lift. He's got an extra point on his biggest rival. Yep. Closing that gap in the overall score. Very good lift there. Bobby Thompson will try to win the event as Mitch Hooper is locked up at least a second place finish. Thompson going up to 900. 86 pounds, that's 447 kilos. And this will mean a lot to Bobby if he can take the event win on this one. Big pull, strong off the ground. Come on, Bobby, pull it. Finish it, Bobby, finish it. He needs to keep working. Can he lock out? Hip through, hip through. Good. Down signal from the referee, Bobby gets the lift. Give the win to Bobby Thompson. 986. Huge lift there for Bobby Thompson. What a battle for Bobby Thompson as he is on a tear, a second place last night, and now a first place finish in the elephant bar deadlift. Bobby Thompson with the event win, and he is with Kiki Dixon. Congratulations on your event win. It looked like you were fighting with that barbell there at the last rep. Talk me through that. That was definitely a fight. That's actually, it's a 50 pound PR, not in a suit. So it was a fight, but it paid off. Big pull, strong off the ground. Bobby gets the lift. Give the win to Bobby Thompson. Bobby Thompson with 986 pounds to best Mitchell Hooper by five. And Rob Kearney finishes ahead of Trey Mitchell. And that definitely helps Mitchell Hooper. In the overall standings, Trey Mitchell is seeing his lead dwindle. He is now only a half point lead over Mitchell Hooper. Bobby Thompson is now in third place, followed by Mateusz Kieliszkowski in fourth. And Rob Kearney is inside the top five. When we come back, a new Strongman event makes its debut at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. Welcome back to the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic and event four, the Steintossen Stone Throw makes its Arnold Strongman Classic debut. The athletes have three attempts to throw the 185 pound stone and the farthest distance wins. The consistent Mitchell Hooper comes in at third with a distance of 10 feet, five inches. Tom Evans takes his second place, besting Hooper by just two inches. And Mateusz Kieliszkowski wins his second event with a distance of 11 feet, four and a half inches. Only three inches separated second from fourth place, and Bobby Thompson, still fighting for a podium finish, comes in at fifth place. And in the overall standings, Mitchell Hooper has now jumped Trey Mitchell for first place with one event left. Mateusz Kieliszkowski with his second event win now sits in third place, and Bobby Thompson in fourth. The last event will be frame. If I will start quicker, then can beat my previous time, seven seconds. I will do my best to be better this year. 
The rookie year has gone very well, better than I could have ever thought that it would have gone. Highlighted with the win at the Arnold UK, a win Giants Live World Tour Finals and a win over in Australia to start the year. So we've built some pretty good momentum and I'll only continue to improve, which is pretty exciting. Mitch Hooper right now sits atop the overall standings and he has a comfortable lead, but he is not safe. There's no safe in this competition. We've seen it far too many times. Some very, very surprising results have happened so far. He's in a great position. He's where he wants to be, but there is still a job to do, and the other athletes can still put pressure on him. Mateusz Kaliszkowski is within striking distance, and he is the world record holder in this next event, the timber carry. 881 pounds, you gotta carry it up that ramp as fast as you can, 30 second time limit here. The keys of this event are presented by Beyond the Whiteboard. Laws, what do you gotta to do to be successful here? This is such a traditional event here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. Been used a number of times now, and it's a brutal event. We do not see many of our male athletes finishing this timber frame. All about leg, back, and grip strength. You know, not having the straps on this, it comes down to that grip. And if you can do this in one go, it makes a huge difference because you do not want to try and re-pick that timber carry up on that incline on the ramp. Kevin Ferris, who is known for his grip, has been waiting for this event. He said yesterday when we talked to him, this is bread and butter for him. And he's up, no problem, but straight away he goes down as soon as he hit that ramp. This is better now. And he has himself sorted, and he looks like he is going to be able to make it here. But once he got that second pick up, he was nice and steady, moved well. But that mistake at the start just could cost him a little. You really have to do be, to be so precise with where you pick this thing up because of the tilt on it. When an object is that big and that heavy, if it just tilts slightly, it kind of pulls out of your hands. So. Maybe just a slight mistake, maybe had his hands a little too far back. The frame tilts forwards and it just opens up that hand a little. Once he adjusted, the grip looks strong. Tom Stolman will be up next. Stolman's best finish so far, fifth place, did it twice in the first two events, the Wheel of Pain and the Austrian Oak. And he is off. And very similar to his brother, he's let that tilt forward, but he's holding on well. Tom's grip's definitely improved over the years as well. Now this is a hard position to be, especially for such a tall man, to lift that on that ramp. You're in a weird position. You want to deadlift off a flat surface. Well, Tom Solman is not going to be able to get to the top. Yeah, you see that implement just tilting forward. It's going to pulling him forward as well as he walks. So it's hard to maintain that balance. It's hard to keep those hips through and stay locked. When we return, who will be crowned champion at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic? The 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic on CBS Sports is sponsored by Rogue. Don't weaken. Welcome back to the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic and the final event, the Timber Carry continues. Luke Stoltman managed to carry the frame 16 feet. Pavlo Nakanechny with an injured leg fared better with a little more than 17 feet. Rob Kearney with just shy of two feet. And rookie Tom Evans finished his Arnold Strongman Classic debut with 13 feet. Now that will bring up Bobby Thompson as we are into our top four athletes. Thompson trails Mateusz Kieliszkowski by two points for third place. And Thompson's put in a really good performance all weekend. Very, very strong. Amazing deadlift, amazing log pressing. The American nightmare. Let's see if he can get to the top. Easy pickup. Now it's a grip. We're seeing it with so many of these athletes. They're strong enough to lift this weight. It's the hands holding onto that bar. And Bobby needs to work hard and just get this as far as he can. This is good. Keep working hard, Bobby. You've got 10 seconds. Final seconds here for Bobby Thompson. Just trying to get every bit of distance out of this thing as he possibly can. And that is going to be the time cap. Bobby Thompson will have to see if that is good enough to keep him inside the top four. Did a pretty good job of just 
inching his way up the ramp there. He kept working hard all the way through. Mateusz Kieliszkowski's up next. This is one of his favorite events. Always been good when it comes to moving with weights. Trying to beat his world record of seven seconds. And he is off. Look how quickly he moves. He's and holding strong. we may have a new record. We'll have to wait for the official time, but that is going to be close. He's asking for the time. He's not happy. Oh, he may not have gotten there, <laughs> but he is in the lead. This is what he needed. He needed a competition back. Now he can build on that for future contests. Let's remember he's still only 29 years old. And keeping the pressure on both Trey Mitchell and Mitch Hooper, let's go to Kiki Dixon with Mateusz Kielikowski. What is it about this event? Why are you able to be so successful? Uh, this is good for me because it's one of my favorites. Uh, when I started Strongman, it was my best uh, event from old. So that's why maybe I not practice a lot of, just I have strong grip, need strong legs and just walk. Thank you so much. Thank you. Two men remain here. Trey Mitchell is going to be up next. Now, last year, he was barely able to move this timber. We'll see if that has improved this year. We know he's an incredible deadlifter, an incredible log presser, but this has been one of those events that's caused problems for him in the past. And here goes Trey Mitchell, and once again, struggling. We know he can lift these kind of weights. We see it on the deadlift, it's a, a comfortable weight for him. It is all about that grip. Trey Mitchell, who's been so, so impressive, an incredible day one. That grip just costing him. And this is tough to watch, he's such a good athlete. And that will do it for Trey Mitchell. Unfortunately, the event we expected him to do poorly on, it's turned out that way. And that means Bobby Thompson and Mateusz Kierlewskowski are still very much alive for a spot on the podium. And now, Mitch Hooper, your overall leader, has yet to finish lower than third in any event, hasn't won an event. He led Mateusz Kierlewskowski by six points coming in. If he gets to the top, he's going to win the whole thing. Let's see how his grip is, because if he can hold on to this, we know he's got the foot speed. And here goes Mitch Hooper. And, and he's Mitch moving quick. Hooper he's moving quick. He's a couple oh, feet he just away went down. from a championship. Hooper is Come almost on. there. Finish it off. He wants to get to the top, and he does. And that will do it. Mitch Hooper is your 2023 Arnold Strawman Classic champion. What an athlete. He did not have a weak event all weekend. He didn't win an event, but he kept racking up the points. And that is our 2023 Arnold Strongman champion. This man is having an unbelievable rookie year. He has done in one year what many strongmen try to just accomplish in their careers. And he just seems to improve every time we see him. And just fought his way to the top and gets himself the championship. Mitch, you just won the Arnold Strongman Classic in your rookie season. What does it mean to you? Uh, I always say it's not uh, what you do, it's who you are. So to me, it's a stepping stone to what kind of impact can I make with this type of platform. Uh, continue to inspire people to get out there and move and uh, get better for World's Strongest Man and be able to get to the next step. Thank you, Mitch. Thanks, Kiki. Mateusz Kieliszkowski wins his third event of the competition and comes close to breaking his timber carry record. And the only other two athletes to make it to the top, Kevin Ferris and Mitchell Hooper, round out the top three. And what an incredible way to finish his rookie season. Mitchell Hooper wins the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. Mateusz Kieliszkowski's return to competition nets him second place. And Bobby Thompson, a half point over Trey Mitchell, takes third. 
It's been an exciting weekend at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. Thank you for watching. Coming up next is professional bull riding from Louisville. For Lawrence Chalet and Jerry Pritchett, I'm Sean Woodland. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports in association with Coulter Ventures and Rogue Fitness.